Hey guys and welcome! With me today I have little beautiful Edna here. She's my female Kenyan sand boa. And today I want to share with you some fun facts about the Kenyan sand boa. The Kenyan sand boa is actually one of the smallest boa species on earth. And the males are smaller than the females. And even though the females only reach up to 90 centimeters. So this is quite a small snake. Another awesome fact is that if food is scarce, these guys are able to live up to a full year without eating. Now that is pretty effective if you're living in dry areas as the Kenyan Sanbo is, uh, where you're not sure when you're gonna get your next meal. When the Kenyan sand boa attacks, they actually do it by ambush, which means that they lie on the ground with just their eyes and their nose on top and then they wait for a prey to come by. And once that prey is coming by, they strike at it and then they drag it underneath to eat it. Speaking of underground, that's actually where the Kenyan sand boa prefers to be. So if you buy one and expect to see a lot of activity in your Kenyan sand boa, I think that you might be a bit disappointed. You're not gonna see that much because they really do enjoy uh, burrowing and digging these tunnels and then just stay underneath the substrate. And now what I think is the most coolest fact about these guys is that you may be able to see that here is the head and here is the tail. If you touch the tail, it's kind of it's kind of rough. Feels a little bit like it's almost armored. And also the tail and the head, they look pretty similar to each other. Now that's an excellent defense mechanism for the snake because when something is coming to attack the snake, it might be confused as to where to attack. I've also heard that if some animal is attacking the head of the snake, it will wiggle the tail, try to confuse and try to make the attacker go for that one instead because as I said before the tail is pretty armored and it can withstand both bite and scratches whereas the head is a little bit more vulnerable so that's pretty pretty neat All right, guys, that was a few fun facts about the Kenyan sand boa. If you have any more fun facts or have any comments or questions, just post them right down in the comments section. Please give the video a like. It really does help me and my animals out a lot. If you want to see more, just hit that subscription button. Thank you guys for now and bye bye.